Hi everyone, welcome back to my art channel. My name is Chris and for today's video I have an art haul. So I went to Blix. I ordered online from Blix and I actually went to a store and then I went to one of my local art supply stores. It was actually in the Bay Area in San Francisco but I happened to go to that area to get some other supplies so I just stopped there. And then I got something from Target and then something from Amazon. So let me start with Blix because that's the biggest order. Like I said, I put, I placed an order online and then actually went to store uh, because I was, I needed some other supplies. Okay. So first off, I got a lot of this Prismacolors Cool Erase pencils. I really like sketching with these pencils. I really love the colors too. They were in promotion of buy five, get five free. Uh, they're actually not going to carry them in my local bleaks at least in person when I asked the cashier why she just said that They're not going to carry up in stock anymore. They're only going to sell the sets. So I hope that's The truth because I would hate if they get discontinued. So I'm going to do swatches. I'll show you the swatches in a bit But like I said, I thought it was a pretty good deal to buy five and get five free and the color that I really like are the purple so I make sure I got a couple of those colors right here and uh, I believe the other ones I have in my collection but like I said I still wanted to stock up in case they are discontinued and hopefully they're not uh, next I got a couple of micron pens I really like the 05 those are my favorite here we go. I think the thickness is perfect for what I do. And I got them in a couple, like this brown color and black. Let me show you. I didn't have a black, so I got the black. And then I was intrigued by the other two colors. I have a lot of microns in different colors. Um, but I wanted to try this ones out. Let me see. Next, two more Posca pens in two colors that I don't already have. This is in straw yellow, and this is in aqua green, and they are both in the M5, um, M5 tip. Okay, so this is actually something that I've been wanted to buy for a long time, and when I went to uh, in store they told me they didn't have it there so I've been waiting for a while now and they just haven't put it in stock um, in person so I had to order this online and this is the Bleak Studio Artist Color Pencils in portrait colors and let me them look at that I think they're really pretty you do get uh, your browns and you get a couple of blues and some pastel tones in here with the green. So I'm very excited to try this out. I've been trying to incorporate um, some other media in my watercolors just to give them more depth and definition. So I think spending, investing in some color pencils is a good way to go. Um, I know, I'm not sure, I think they're artist pencils, the Blick, the Blick uh, brand. Uh, I know when it comes to color pencils, you're better off getting the Caran d'Ache or the Derwent or what's the other one? Um, even the Faber Castell, but I didn't want to spend so much on those pencils, so that's why I got this, this set. Let me see. I don't know if you could see my cat walking in the background. Over there, she's probably being naughty right now, trying to knock stuff over, which she always does. Okay, so I got a set, uh, well not a set, but when I was browsing the website, I found this Amsterdam acrylic markers. Because I love Posca pens, and if I could find an alternative of Posca pens, I think that, that's like a win my buck at least. But these are a little bit different. Uh, Posca pens, for me, they are more... Uh, fun i want to say whereas this type of markers i think they gear more towards a professional artist maybe that acrylic artist that wants to add some more like um fine details so the colors that i got this is yellow ochre this is warm gray and this is bonacridone rose 
and then going with that i also got this uh pastel pen in soft white this editing i don't know why i just thought it would be good for like highlights and stuff now i got this three colors ah, by Van Gogh. Van Gogh. I hear a lot of great things about this brand and I do have one palette from them. Um, I think the price is fantastic. I, th I think they were about $350 per tube. And I just I just want to try a little bit more about this brand. I think they're more like student grade. That's what they're um, advertised at least or at least when I hear other people talk about Van Gogh. I think it's more of a student grade. But then I also heard some professional artists who really like the brand. I do have this Bangle palette. It's in the Shades of Nature set. It comes like this. And I really like the colors. So I'm really excited to try the tubes. And to um, I bought some colors that I thought I would really use in my personal work. So the first one is Mather Lake Light. Then I have Quinacrinum Rose. And then I have turquoise blue. The last white color product that, well not the last one, but at least white color paint that I got from Blake is it my, my Mary Blue, my Mary Blue, I think. You can correct me if I'm saying it wrong. Now this is a brand that I've been trying to get for a long time, but I just wouldn't justify the price they're a little bit more expensive and i believe it's because they're made in italy but i finally bit the bullet and i got this color this one is in dragon's blood so i'm really interested in how that's going to look like and i'm really interested in seeing the formula uh i'm not sure if they're honey based or not but we'll see last two items from blix is this Fabriano watercolor paper. Now this is very interesting. Well, not very interesting, but at least to me because it's a 25% cotton uh, paper and it was about $10 for how many pages do you get? 12 pages? Yeah, for 12 pages. So that's not a bad deal to be honest. The, it is 140 pounds and it's 9 by 12. So it's a pretty good size and I'm really excited to see how this is going to behave. Uh, I think I mentioned it before but when it comes to watercolor paper or when it comes to anything watercolor, watercolor the one thing you really want to splurge on is watercolor paper. You can get away with using student gray acrylics or even a cheaper set of um, acrylics. You could get away from uh, using a student grade watercolor or watercolor or even a cheap watercolor set and cheap brushes, but you definitely, definitely need good watercolor paper. And that would always be 100% cotton. And lastly, I have this Dunch Hedge paper. This is 100% cotton watercolor paper. It's also 140 pounds. Um, this is one of the cheapest papers that I've seen that, in, like, at least blocks that I've seen that are professional papers. It was about $20 for a, how many pages do you have? It's nine by 12, how many pages? Do, oh, 15 sheets by 15 sheets. So I'm very excited to see how this is going to work out because I love arches, but they're really expensive. So if I can find a cheaper alternative that is really good quality, then I'm all for it. So those are the stuff from Blake's. Now let me show you the stuff that I got from the local art supply. So I live in the Sacramento area. We have one of the stores in the Sacramento area. It's called University Art. But I was happy, I happened to be going uh, to the Bay Area in San Francisco. And where I was going, there's another University Art store in there. So I happened to stop there to find one specific product and it was this black watercolor paper i was uh, originally originally going to buy a different type of paper but then i came across this and it was um maybe 10 15 dollars cheaper from the paper that i wanted to buy and i decided to give it a try so this is black watercolor paper 
as you can see I do have some metallic watercolors that I am going to try uh, from Gen Crafts they were kind enough to send me a free watercolor palette and I believe I have a short or I'll probably put a short video uh, unboxing that palette uh, I really liked it so I thought that to give to do justice to metallic watercolors you really need to use a darker paper not to say that you you have to but I think it, they just look better then I got this brush this is by Princeton Neptune this is my favorite line that they carry I think these brushes are really good price and they um they give you enough water that you are able to control. Like I have some other brushes that they do grab a lot of water, but they're kind of hard to control. And I like this one because it's that perfect, uh, that perfect amount of water that you still are able to control. So this is an oval wash, half an inch. I never tried this type of uh, brush before, so I'm really excited. And then I got two black wind pencils, one in pearl one in natural now these pencils are expensive i do have a couple in my collection i do have the 602 i believe I, and then i have i don't know if this is the matte or if there's another one. Oh, and then i have the matte this one and i really like them do i think they are anything special no but i really like them i don't know if i would con like keep buying them over and over but they're nice i got this guanacridone rose by m Graham. and Ingram is one of my favorite brands they are a honey based for formula but they are actually pretty pretty good um i really like the quality of the products and i also got two more watercolors from bango i got this naples yellow and then this rose Okay, last two things I got from University Art are this oil pastel set. So the first one I got is this set of 16 colors. And then the next one I got is this set of skin tones. So I haven't really played with oil pastels, but I find them I find them very intriguing. So if you have any tips, please let me know. I would love to hear if you use oil pastels and if you keep give me some guidance. Um, let me see. So that is, those are all the items that I got from University Art. I got one item from Target. I got this Mondolama paint markers. This is this set of eight. And I thought they would have different colors than the previous set that I bought. Let me get it out. So I got this set a while ago. And I think it was actually one of my on my first haul video of 2022 but if I look closely half the markers in this set the, all the markers in here are in here too so that's a little disappointing I thought they would have different colors but they're not but I'm going to try to do an artwork just using this set and when I first tried them I was I was very excited I was not disappointed I thought it was a very good deal uh, for the price that I paid and like I said I'm always looking for a Posca pen dupe even though I don't think you will ever 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 surpass the quality and the amazingness of Posca pens and the last item that I have is this Generation Crafts watercolor palette like I mentioned before Generation Crafts were kind, en uh, kind enough to send me their metallic watercolor set and I really like those paints. I'm not really a metallic person, but I really like those um, those paints. And I, I already have an idea what I want to do with them. So they are also providing me with an affiliate link. Like I said, this is no cost to you. But if you want to check it out, I'm going to put it down below. I'm going to review this palette. So far, um, <clears throat> I haven't opened it. It's brand new. But based on what I saw with the metallic palette, I think it was really good. So keep posted because I'm going to do an unboxing and a review of this palette. And I'm keeping my hopes up that it's a really, really good uh, watercolor palette. I do believe that many brands are coming out with affordable watercolor sets that I would personally don't say they are professional, but they are really good as a starting point for beginners or crafters. 
So I'm hoping that this one is one of those good uh, watercolor palettes that are, are an affordable price. Okay, everybody, so that was a huge haul. I bought a lot of stuff, and some of them I needed, some of them I just wanted to try. So, like I said, if you have any tips on how to use the oil pastels, please let me know. I really appreciate it if you share your knowledge with me. And if you like this video, if you like my channel, if you like me, please like and subscribe. I would appreciate it if you become part of this community that I'm trying to build here on YouTube. And I'll see you next time. Bye.